Hello, this is Kevin from EaseUs. In this video, I will show you how to perform a system clone using EaseUs Toto Backup. This eliminates the time-consuming process of manually reinstalling your computer's operating system and configurations on a new drive. And to do this, we'll just need a few tools. The first thing you need to do is connect your new hard drive to your computer and initialize the disk. For this step, you will need your new hard drive, a SATA connection cable, and a screwdriver. The SATA cables can usually be bought from the vendor where you bought your drive from. So disconnect your computer, carefully lie it on its side, and then open the case. Then connect the SATA cable to the port on the motherboard. And then once you have that in there, connect the cable to the SSD and also attach the power line. There should be a few free power lines in the computer case for you to use. And make sure your SSD is properly connected as shown. And once that's finished, screw down your drive, close the case, and then reboot your computer. Now I'll show you how to initialize your new disk. To do so, open the computer management app and select disk management on the left. If you are not immediately prompted to initialize your disk, you can right click on the new disk and select initialize disk. You should select the same partition style as is used in the source disk. If you are unsure, you can right click on the source disk in disk management, select properties, and the partition style can be found under the volumes tab. And now we are ready to clone the system. So open up EaseUs Toto Backup and then use the navigation bar on the left and go down and select System Clone. The source will automatically be selected to be your system drive. So you just need to select your target drive, which is the new drive. Before you proceed, select Advanced Options and if your drive is an SSD as in the video, tick Optimize for SSD and continue. The speed of the cloning process varies based on your hardware and operating system. On average, it runs at about 100 gigabytes per hour. You can select the option at the bottom to automatically shut down your computer when the clone is complete. And the final step is to change the boot order in BIOS so that your computer boots from the new hard drive. And to do this, you restart your PC, press the key needed to enter the BIOS for your computer and then go to the boot section and move your new drive to the top of the list. Thank you for watching.